While the Bronx was burning in the 70s, creative innovators of the troubled borough were igniting the music world with the sounds of hip hop. They said, hey now, you gotta come up to a hip hop with me, which is what they called it. They said, a hip hop. <laughs> DJs would mix popular songs and MCs would rap over the breakbeats. These events would go on for hours. In fact, that's part of the reason why it took so long for hip hop to see its first proper record. The live energy of rap was thought to be impossible to capture on vinyl. It was considered something that could only be experienced live. And that remained the belief for the majority of the decade, until 1979 when former singer Sylvia Robinson hatched a plan to push the underground movement into the mainstream domain. And the track that did that was the Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight. I said a hip hop, the hip it, the hip it, the hip hip hop, you don't stop the rocker to the bang bang boogie, say up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to beat. Now Rapper's Delight transformed the street culture of hip hop into a commercially viable art form. It was the first rap single to conquer the charts, reaching number 36 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Robinson's success with Sugar Hill Records was nothing short of historic. It was a catalyst for what would arguably become the cultural revolution of our time. All of a sudden this underground movement was on pop culture's radar, and the winning formula? Boastful lyrics over a sampled beat. I got body guards, I got two big guards, I definitely ain't the whack. I got a Lincoln Continental and a son who's Cadillac. The track interpolates the disco funk record Good Times. Its infectious bass line and steady tempo made it ideal for MCs to rap over. But of course, this predated sampling. And he says, yeah, I just bought this record up in Harlem. It's called Rapper's Delight. I said, what do you mean you bought the record? That's my song. And then I heard the strings from my record go. No credit was given to Sheik, and as a result, Nile Rogers threatened legal action over copyright. Fortunately though, the conflict was resolved and the group were listed as co-writers. In fact, Rogers later admitted that despite his initial upset, Rapper's Delight became one of his favourite songs of all time, considering it to be just as innovative and important as his own. Now, first up to join the group was part-time music manager and part-time pizza chef Big Bank Hank, who was introduced to Robinson by her son Joey, who took her to meet him at the pizza parlour he was working at. They auditioned him on the spot, and thinking fast, Hank decided to recite some lyrics he'd got from a friend, Grandmaster Kaz. Audaciously, Hank doubled down on this blatant plagiarism and used Kaz's lyrics for his introductory verse, even keeping the line that referred to Kaz's moniker, Casanova Fly. Check it out, I'm the C A S N, the O V A, and the rest is F L Y. Despite years of controversy, Kaz is yet to receive any royalties from his stolen lyrics, although he did release a song in 2000 to publicise his account of the situation. The other two members of the gang, Master G and Wonder Mike, were hired later that evening, and so became the Sugar Hill Gang. They all met on a Friday and, impressively by the following Monday, they had recorded a near 15 minute long track, passing the mic around the studio and using cues to let the next person know when to take over. And next on the mic is my man Hank, come on Hank, sing that song. And to top it all off, they recorded it all in one take. It's important to note quickly that while Rapper's Delight was the first commercially successful hip hop track, it was actually the Fat Pack Band's King Tim the Third that was crowned the first ever hip hop record, being released just a few months prior to Rapper's Delight. Now, while the song did expose hip hop to the world, the true pioneers of the genre saw the song as an inauthentic fabrication of their culture. As the trio weren't known on the scene, they weren't icons like Fab Five Freddy or Lovebug Starsky. Not only that, but they had also failed to credit the Good Time sample and Hank had been exposed for biting, which, especially on hip hop's first mainstream hit, was not a good look. Nevertheless, although some people have felt conflicted about the song's execution, there was no debate that the Sugar Hill Gang's success sent waves through the hip-hop scene. Rapper's Delight propelled the genre into the public eye and paved the way for artists that would go on to revolutionise the music industry. Sylvia Robinson has since been crowned the mother of hip-hop, going on to produce songs with the likes of Grandmaster Flash and The Furious Five. Not only is she a pioneer of the genre, but she is also arguably one of the most consequential producers and label owners of all time, opening the doors for all the independent labels from Def Jam to Mass Appeal. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. You see, 